Welcome back to Prominence RPG. So today we're gonna be doing all these things right here. First, I wanna do the mob grinder so I could get a fortune three pickaxe and eventually make a sheep farm so I could get some beds to go netherite grinding. So that is what we're gonna focus on this episode. I already have everything right here for the mob grinder. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be using this wizard tower for the mob farm because it has like three or four spawners and it's gonna be busted. Let's go ahead and remove this wall. All right, let me go ahead and place torches quick. All right, shoot the fireball. He just shot it back at me. Oh my gosh. What in the world? I'm dying. Okay, let's place the rest. Yeah, there's four spawners in here. Boom, boom. All right, perfect. All right, first, I got to clear out everything in this room. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, I cleared out most of the space, excluding the stairs. Now, let me go ahead and dig down a little bit. Now, we need to go ahead and dig down two or three blocks. I'm going to just go with three since the spawner is like pretty close to the ground. And after we clear out the space, we got to place the water in the corners and then make a hole going down and so forth all right all the space is dug out now i just need to place water in the corners try to find the middle well it doesn't exactly have to be the middle but this should do hopefully you reach yep it reaches i got some more water in my backpack i also made an infinite water source outside i'm gonna have to dig out here hopefully this works nope what about this here we go please work yes all right all right i'm gonna need a way to get up so let me craft some ladders real quick boom 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 there we go we gotta somehow place these slabs on top of all these spawners so they don't spawn on top of the spawners let's jump ah. all right there we go there we go now i gotta place this last one on top and there we go let me go ahead and just break all the way up there we go now we could get rid of these stairs since we have a ladder going up to the roof okay this should be good enough i removed pretty much all the stairs now we gotta go back down and dig 10 blocks down five six seven eight nine ten now we just got to make an open area so we could collect our valuables from the mobs once we kill them it's probably not going to be anything too fancy right now because there's a lot to do this episode now from this hole we could place some slabs just like this then just cover that up there we go make some more room for the rest of the zombies now we just place the chest here the hoppers there we go actually let's do this instead boom and we could place some even more chest right here get rid of the cobble and just connect the hoppers together there we go i might as well do the roof so let me go ahead and make these cobblestone bricks there we go and the walls and floors might as well eventually i could have like an enchantment table set up in here so i could just grind xp and enchant everything i need in here which would be really good i could actually do that but it's not really a concern at the moment and i am done well let me place a torch right here and one right here in both corners and now i just need a way to get up so i'm gonna dig out a little bit and then start mining up i'm gonna need some more ladders oh i'm suffocating Okay, all right, there we go. Perfect, it leads straight outside of the dungeon. But I do need to secure this place, so let me go ahead and make like a little bunker shelter place. I just realized, why is my fireball here? That's really weird. All right, there we go. Now let's just build a nice little entrance here, and I'll just make it out of a spruce fence. Let me see if I can hit the fireball. Actually, mm, I'm gonna keep it there. It's kind of, I don't know, it's something. Now I just gotta get rid of all these torches, and then we should be good. I should probably do it from top to bottom. All right, I think I got rid of all of them. Nope, I watched this. <sighs> ah. All right, there we go. Boom. It's working, I think. Let me close the door. <sighs> Come on, there we go. I think I'm holding a torch in my hand. That's why they're not spawning as often. Okay. Bro, please. I'm trying to get up. Okay. Now our skeleton spawner grinder thing is finally working. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to use a different weapon because this one's definitely going to be annoying. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have a waystone, so let me go ahead and place this down real quick. I'll place it right here and call it Skeleton Grinder. Now we can just go back home with levels and put all this stuff somewhere. I mean, I don't really have much storage, but gonna have to make it do. Let me go ahead and use a Soul Siphon Sword because it gives you extra XP when you kill a mob. Well, at least a chance to gain extra XP, but that's still really good. So I'm gonna sit here and grind for a little bit, and once I get enough levels, I'm gonna go ahead and go on a enchantment spree with my diamond pickaxe so I can get Fortune 3. All right, I got 40 levels. I should be good. And while I was grinding these uh, skeletons, I got myself a lapis backpack which multiplies the amount of experience gained when received by a player so i'm just gonna leave this here because i already have an upgraded backpack and i don't really feel like wasting more diamonds just for the lapis backpack i also got this one i might as well leave it here as well so yeah if you look down here i got a bunch of bows and arrows and stuff like that we also got soul stars we only need four 
And as you guys probably know, it's used for the Night Lich, which is going to be our first Void Invasion boss again. But anyways, let's go back home and get to enchanting. I only have 22 diamonds left, so I got to be careful. Hopefully it gives me something good. There's another Fortune 1. I might as well take it and just combine it with the other Fortune 1. I don't see the harm in that. It's quite costly, so I'm not going to combine them yet. Okay, hopefully I get... Nope. Nope. Fortune 2. Oh, perfect. I could combine uh I could combine all these pickaxes together. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. There we go. Now we just put this here and this here and we got a fortune 3 pickaxe. And now I want to add mending to it, but I need 11 levels and I have 0. I can't even teleport back to the grinder. I need some levels, thank you. Also, let me go ahead and take a look at my skill points. Since the first boss is the Night Lich, we're going to be needing a bow. So I'm going to go ahead and use this on range damage. Just for now, more health would be good and attack speed. So I think this is a pretty solid build so far. Now let's go ahead and get two levels and... Well, not two levels, 11 levels. Well, 12 so I can teleport back and still have my levels. But anyways, you get the point. All right, I have enough levels. So let's go ahead and uh, combine these two. There we go. I don't really like the stats on it though. So let's go ahead and reforge. There we go. Oh my gosh. Bro. Oh, there we go. Okay, much better. I could also combine these two, but I need 29 levels. I don't even think it's worth it. I just wanted vein mining, to be honest. But, but I don't think it really matters too much. Now that we've got the mob grinder and the fortune 3 checked off, now we just need to build a sheep farm and get to netherite grinding. First, I need to build the actual farm, so let's go ahead and do that. I think I'm going to make it right here. This isn't going to be too fancy, just large enough for a decent amount of sheep, I guess. All right, I built the farm. Now, all I need to do is bring in the sheep. Oh, I found a rascal. It was good, man. All right, so I'm guessing he's going to disappear. Yep, there he goes. And now I got to relocate him. Oh, I see him on my map. Come here, buddy. Don't run from me. Let's go. I got you. Oh, okay, it looks like I need to find him one more time. Oh, I see him on my map. I'm coming for you, buddy. Oh, he's down here. Let's go, I got you. Oh, he just gave me a bundle. And there's an iron pickaxe in it? Oh, it's enchanted. What does it have on it? Silk touch. Okay, I'll take it. I've just gotten a bunch of sheep inside of my new pen. Now I just gotta breed all of them. There we go. Now all we gotta do is share these sheep. Our 13 wool, that's not that much. But we'll have to make it do for now. All right, for now, let's go ahead and start on the storage. All I need is an inventory connector and a crafting grid. It should be pretty simple. All right, I pretty much have everything I need for the inventory connector. I just need quartz. I'm not too sure if I have any. No, I don't have any quartz, so I'm going to have to go to the nether. So let's go ahead and do that. I got 12 blaze rods. It should be enough. For now, let's get back home since I already have everything I need. But we'll definitely be exploring this place eventually. Let's go ahead and make the inventory connector. All right, there we go. Now we just need the crafting terminal. Come here, Endermans. And, yep, he just died. Give me that ender pearl. And you're next. Okay, I need some glowstone. I completely forgot about that. Okay, I'll be right back. This place is huge. Oh my. I see a chest. Hopefully it has something good in here. Oh, okay. Decreases time to drink and eat items. That's a cool hat. I know magic plays a really huge role in this mod pack, so I gotta look into that eventually as well. But for now, let me just focus on what I can focus on, which is glowstone. Bro, there's some all the way over there, and looks like there's none that's closer. Fire node. Okay, that's magic related. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think he's friendly. I'm not too sure. I see some glowstone up here. Thank goodness. Ow. Bro, what was that? Here we go. I'll right, collect as much of this as possible. Kind of wish I brought my vein mining pickaxe. All right, I definitely have enough glowstone. Oh, there's a hoglin. I don't really feel like fighting you right now. Oh my gosh. Hey, it looks like I'm going to have to. Easy. Time to go back home. Now we could probably go ahead and make this crafting terminal. Well, the storage one first. Here we go. Now we just need a crafting one. Shouldn't be too hard. I just need some crafting tables. And there we go. Now all we got to do is just hook this up. Boom, boom. And now we can see all of our items inside these chests. But I'm definitely going to need to expand it. it. Looks like I'm already full on storage. I can't put these in here. I just go ahead and place these chests up here. And now we have more storage. Let me go ahead and check on my sheep. Oh, you're all grown up. Go ahead and breed you all. Nice. Now we start shearing. I don't even have any wood. So let me go ahead and collect as much as I can. And I also do need to expand the storage. Because I have like no chest in there. Oh, there should be enough chests for now. There are chest upgrades as well. So I might as well. Well, uh, I don't have copper. I don't really feel like getting copper at the moment. So this will have to do for now. But eventually I could upgrade all the chests. 
All right, okay, our storage is looking good so far. Could also turn this string into wool. I'm only gonna use half of it though. All right, these sleeping bags are stackable, so I might as well take these and hopefully they work out. All right, I might as well AFK farm these sheep. So once I get a good amount of sleeping bags, I'm gonna go netherite grinding. So short update, I got about six stacks of wool. So we definitely have a lot, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and turn all of these into beds. I prefer the white sleeping bag from the Traveler's Backpack mod, to be honest. I don't know why, I just kind of do. Here we go. We got two stacks of beds, plus some extra. Don't really feel like calculating, but it's definitely enough. Let's just hope I get tons of netherite on my way down. I'm gonna go ahead and wear this helmet because it has fire protection three, so it's definitely gonna be useful. Also, if we go to the nether quest, we could click this and get a splash potion of fire resistance and some extra stuff. I already have a fire gauntlet, so I don't really need that. And I got a little bit of levels. I am officially ready to go netherite farming. Let's go. I think I need to go to Y negative 13 for netherite. I kind of forgot. I think it's 13. Oh, I found one of the boss places on accident. This is the nether gauntlet, which is the second boss we have to defeat, actually, as you can see right here. So we're going to come down here and mark this place for now. And we'll eventually come back in a later episode. Wait, no, it's not negative 13. It's just 13. Time to get blasting. Boom. Wait, what? There's no way. They don't even explode. Oh, wow. And I'm just wasting my beds. I mean, it's not like I could do anything with them anyway. What about these beds? Please, some of these work at least. I don't even think they work. Do they really have to be normal beds? Yeah, I can't even place it. Like, I'm placing it right next to me. Ah, that's so dumb. Well, I'll be back with normal beds then. All right, I just came back with two backpacks filled to the brim with back... I mean, beds. I got this spider traveler's backpack from uh, my mob grinder, which is really good because you could climb walls with it. Since I'm netherite farming, I might as well just wear it because there might be some uh, netherite above that I can't reach and I can just use the backpack to crawl up. I'm gonna demonstrate it right now. Oh, we have to enable the ability. And now we can crawl up walls. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's really useful. All right, let's go ahead to place in these beds. I can only pray that this works. Let's go. Oh, it does work. Oh my gosh. Okay. Any netherite? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Let's keep going. Oh, I found some netherite. Nice. There we go. We got our first piece. I could low-key just vein mine with this. I feel like this is way more efficient, actually. Oh my gosh. Found a mine shaft. A chest with a spell book, a ring, and some other stuff I don't really need. Another chest. Ooh. A runic tablet. More spells. Obliteration. Ooh, I need this. It splits enchantments from an enchantment book. What's in here? Nothing really. What's in here? <gasps> Ooh, another unique sword. Long sword of the plague. Chance on hit to convert positive effects into their negative counterpart. So I'm guessing if a mob has, like regeneration it'll give them poison or something i don't know i'm quite confused this looks a lot like the sword i have it's really cool though would definitely make for a good thumbnail that's for sure what's in here anima conduct so if i kill a mob with this it gives me health bad traveler's backpack and night vision goggles perfect infinity even more perfect well not even more because goggles are way more efficient but anyways i don't need torches anymore so thank goodness oh, there's a blaze spawner right here oh there's multiple there we go. All right, I really need to focus on getting netherite now. Okay, I just exploded a bed off camera and I found three pieces of netherite. Oh my, that's actually plenty for just one bed. If only fortune worked on this. Here we go. Now let's keep finding more. Okay, I'll be back until I found a good amount of ancient debris now. All right, so far I got 19 ancient debris and I only have three beds left. So let's go ahead and use the last three. Boom. All right, there's nothing. Second bed, absolutely nothing once again. And now the last one. Let's go. Okay, I'm not seeing any netherites, unfortunately. Oh, that was my last bed. 19 ancient debris. That's not bad, actually. Next, we need a grinder because we can use the ancient debris with the grinder to give us two netherite scraps instead of one. So that's going to be really handy. I could possibly use the industrial centrifuge to get some mercury, which is used to get three netherite scraps instead of just two. That would take some time, though. We should probably do that anyway. We'd have 57 netherite scraps if we were to use the centrifuge instead. But if we just grind it normally with the grinder, we'd have a uh, 38 so that's a really huge difference anyways it's time to get out of here okay i found this basin place i just crawled up here oh my gosh not crawled you know what i mean 
build up. There's a bunch of gold blocks here. I will be taking all of it. What's in here, though? Okay, we have some upgrades. We have some uh, arrows and extra stuff. A lodestone. Uh, I still have no idea what this does. I know it's a vanilla item. We have a netherite upgrade. This is exactly what we need to upgrade our uh, diamond stuff. I gotta be really careful here because there are hoglins and brutes. Okay. Oh, no. All right. We're up. Oh, boy. He's trying to get up. Let me get rid of the spawner. I don't need it. Oh, boy. I'm taking a lot of damage, actually. All right. Here we go. Boom. And that's the last. Is there anything down here? Oh, yeah. I'm looking for the chest, guys. I don't think piglin brutes respawn, right? I don't know why I'm saying right as if you guys could respawn, but I need all of you to die, please. There we go. Now, let me see if I could get down safely. Not too sure if I should go down here because there are blazes. Oh, well, that works. Let me try going through from the side. Oh, boy. I need to equip my shield. There we go. All right, we're good. Maybe we're not. All right, get rid of this. There we go. Okay. Ah, uh, there's one more spawner. There might be way more, but here we go. Die, Blaze. All right, this has to be the last brute, right? I don't think there's any piglins here. I think that was the last Blaze that I just killed. Let's grab all these gold blocks. Thank you very much. There has to be more to this place, right? I hear something down here. Oh, yep. Yeah. All right, I see it. I saw a chest. Come on. Now, let's go ahead and search these chests. Let's make sure there's not a trap. I don't think so. Oh, we got the cursed eye. Nice. Netherite scrap. Another netherite upgrade. Diamond helmet. All right. This stuff is going to be really useful. All of it, actually. Now, what's in here? Ooh, ancient debris. Runic tablet. Diamond. A bunch of iron. Let's keep going. Let's go ahead and search these chests. Netherite ingots. Nice. More upgrades. What about in here? Okay, more ancient debris. Another cursed eye. Royal longbow. The drawback is pretty trash. I'm not going to lie. Maybe there's some way I could make it faster so I can fight the Night Lich with it. Oh, there's Hoglins down here this time. Alright, I guess I'll keep you alive, buddy. Or not. Okay. More Netherite. Netherite Topaz Ingot. Okay, extra fire damage. I have to replace it with my scarf. I don't think I want to do that right now. How far does this place go? Oh, there's still more. What's in here? Nether Cursed Eye, a bunch of gold blocks, and netherite. Alright, now let's keep going down. There's more. Alright, at this point, I'm just gonna skip to the parts where I, uh, just search all the chests. As you guys already know how this goes. Alright. Ancient debris, a rapid crossbow, and some more stuff that we've totally never seen before. That had to be the last layer, right? Yep. And what's crazy is that there's another side as well, so might as well go explore it. Okay, I just got done exploring this section, and I'm just realizing there's actually four towers. No one wants to see the same thing like four times in a row, so I'll be back once I'm done looting. All right, I just made it out, and it's time to go back home. But first, let me show you guys everything that I've gotten so far, so just take a good look. If you want to pause the video, you could. Here, I got all of this stuff right here. I got some more stuff in this backpack, a bunch of netherite, and in this bag, I got some tools and weapons, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I look, you miss being home. Get out of my bed, buddy. I can finally put all this stuff away. All right, we do have four netherite ingots, so we might as well just use it to upgrade some armor. Definitely not this armor, though. We're gonna make some fresh new diamond armor and then upgrade it. So we just go to the smithing table here, let's place our armor, and there we go. Now we do the chest plate, leggings, and the boots. Cover me in the breeze. Let's go. Oh, we're not gonna wear it like this. We definitely have to upgrade the stats and everything. And even enchant it, etc, etc. I should have probably, uh, reforged the gear when it was diamond. I'm kind of dumb. But it's all good because we're gonna be making a bunch of, uh, netherite eventually because we have 29 ancient debris. First, we do need a centrifuge, an industrial centrifuge, so we could grind all these ancient debris into three netherite scraps, which is actually pretty crazy if you think about it. I also need mercury, so I'm gonna be needing these mercury cells, which is used by using the industrial centrifuge and i just need to add redstone and empty cells which is pretty easy and you get the mercury and then you add it to the other stuff blah 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 then you make the extra netherite and we're good let's go ahead and use some of our skill points let's use it on lethality i have no idea what that means i think it means like a better chance to just finish off a mob when it's low i could be extremely wrong and just saying stuff for no reason but that's kind of what it sounds like let's do some more damage omni vampirism bro what are these terms i'm guessing you like regen's health on hit or something i might as well take it and i'll take some more health my build is really weird and you guys are probably judging me right now so yeah let's go ahead and focus on the industrial grinder and obtaining mercury so first off we need a grinder to get that we need refined iron which is used by just smelting iron and then we have to make a basic machine frame there we go and now we should be able to craft a grinder if we just go over here there we go oh i just need one more flint there we go. Just place this here, and we got a grinder. But now we're gonna need an industrial grinder. So it looks like we need a few parts. 
We need a industrial electrolyzer and some diamond grinding heads, which is pretty simple to make. I just need to grind some diamonds, but I do not even have much diamonds to be honest. Also, I need some way to power the grinder. So let's go ahead and make some basic solar panels. I'm gonna need a lot of stuff for this. I'm gonna need some copper and some rubber. I'm sure you guys know how this goes if you watch my last series, so I'm not gonna go too in depth on this. So I'm just gonna be right back until I get all the parts I need. All right, we can now make the generator. I just crafted the red cell battery, so let's go ahead and take it. And I'm pretty sure this should work. I don't really need a solar panel. Bro, why is there a zombie in my house? I got a new skill point, might as well use it. Let's go with more attack damage. But since we have a generator, we could just put some coal in here and it'll start charging up. There we go, starting to go up and up and the grinder is fully charged. Now I just need to craft an industrial electrolyzer. So let's just go ahead and make this, it's pretty simple. There we go, now we just need one more. There we go. Now we just need the iron sheets, which is pretty simple. We just need a hammer and just hammer some iron down, just like that. Now we have the industrial electrolyzer, but we gotta turn this into a grinder. So I need another grinder, which should be pretty simple. I just need some more flint. Just place all these down. Now we have another grinder. Now all we need are the diamond grinding heads, which is actually pretty simple. We need about five diamonds. So we just grind four of these in here. Here we go, it's working. And we already have steel. All right, we got all the diamond dust we need. Now we just make the grinding heads. There we go. And now we have the industrial grinder. I'm gonna go ahead and place this right here. And it should be charging incomplete multi-block. Oh, so it's one of these. I guess that's fair. I still need a industrial centrifuge, which is a little bit complicated. So I'm gonna skip to the part where I get everything and then explain the process of it at the end, just so you guys can understand. And so I don't take up too much time. All right, I just figured out something you can actually use the industrial electrolyzer for mercury so you just need cinnabar dust which is from the netter and empty cells which is pretty easy then you get some mercury so let's go ahead and try it out right now and it looks like it's working now we don't have to go through the struggle of crafting the centrifuge because it requires a lot of stuff actually this is taking way too long though so eventually i might have to upgrade it but anyways i still need uh the blocks to uh, actually build this thing all right i'm back and i got pretty much everything i need we got the standard machine casings the advanced machine casing some wires to connect the uh power into the industrial grinder so let's go ahead and build it it's actually quite simple you just do this three by three then in the middle you surround it with the advanced machine casing place the water right there boom now i'm pretty sure we place this right here and then we cover the top if i could get up there we go now we just place it just like this and now it should work there we go now we just place some mercury in here and it fills up and then i add the h and debris oh yeah i need to charge it i might as well make another generator just like so i have some more uh, availability to power so let's go ahead and take these coal blocks and put it in here and it should be working there we go let's just place the rest in here and now we got three netherite scraps from one h and debris which is actually insane because you normally need four for one ingot and three is already like plenty so you yeah right now i got six scraps the next thing i need to focus on which isn't going to be this episode but it's definitely going to be the next one it's the alloy smelter so you can see here you have 10 netherite scraps and 10 gold and it makes three netherite ingots normally this would give you two ingots and have some materials left over but this just makes three so that's way better and yeah that's gonna get us a lot of netherite i could actually craft this now let me go ahead and do that it's not too hard all right there we go we got the alloy smelter that was pretty simple add some more mercury in here there we go we got some extra scraps so now if you place these in here it should start combining there it goes and now we have three netherite from one thing so this was successful i'm gonna end the video here guys so off camera i'm gonna get all the netherite and everything i need since you guys basically know how it works now and yeah i'm gonna end the video here hope you guys enjoyed have a great day